After working on gaining new mobility internally and externally through your hips, you're probably looking for a way to stabilize them. Well, I got just the thing for you. We're gonna perform this airplane maneuver here, this airplane movement from a crawling position. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna get to our crawling position. So our shoulders are over our wrists, our hips are over our knees, our back is nice and flat. The airplane is all about rotation in your hip, internally and externally. So from this position here, I'm gonna lock everything in place and I'm gonna reach this leg out nice and long. Again, talked about this in a previous video. Your shoulders are over your wrists, your hips are over your knees, your pelvis is nice, your back is nice and flat. I don't want you leaning over to the leg that's down. I want you to engage those obliques and that core to make sure those things are glued together. So that's step number one. So you should be able to be a straight line from here to start. Now, now I'm gonna internally rotate into this hip that's behind me. I'm gonna rotate my whole body from my ear to my ankle. Everything's gonna rotate towards there. So I'm rotating into this hip here. And then I'm going to externally rotate, opening that thing up. My goal is not to cave in here. I wanna still be a straight line. So I'm opening that hip up as far as it can go. And then I'm gonna come back to that starting position. So I'm gonna rotate in as far as it'll go. Take a breath in there. And then opening that thing up as far as I can go there. Breathe it in there. Breathe it out, coming back down. You can hear how much work that is. Like that's super challenging for me. My internal and external rotation and my hips is not great. So I have to practice these things a lot. Um, if you do want to make this harder for you, you can start taking away those hands. So you can either have your hands straight out while you do this. Rotating in, rotating out, or you can have your hand behind your head. Well, it's up to you, either, either one of those positions is totally fine. But I think for most of us, having both hands on the ground to work on that control internally and externally is gonna be a much better thing to be working on. Again, that control of your slings from your opposite shoulders to your opposite hips, to your opposite hips, that's what makes that X. That X is what controls you. That's what holds your body, makes it nice and stable for all your movements. When that thing, when that connection is disconnected, that's where you lose your balance and you start falling apart. So build those slings up on the floor, and that's gonna help you with better balance, speed, explosiveness, strength, all that good stuff when you're standing up.